Hello everyone and welcome again to the class of 2020 graduation. I know it's definitely different than anything we could have expected, just like most of 2020, but I know we are, we are all grateful to still have the opportunity to celebrate this huge accomplishment. Congratulations to all of you as your perseverance has been extraordinary these past four years and especially with having to unexpectedly finish our last year at home. I am proud of how far we have come and I'm more than excited to say that we did it. This of course could not have been possible without the support of NPS faculty and staff, so another huge thank you to them. We appreciate the diligent responses given to ensure that we made it to graduation today. A special thank you goes out to the valiant efforts of all the teachers who quickly converted the rest of your plans into virtual ones, allowing us to continue learning from home with our newfound classrooms via Zoom. Not only that, but their constant love and support could be felt even through the distance that we shared. I am also dedicating a thank you to parents, guardians, and all family and friends throughout this process. I know it can be tense being around the same people 24 seven, especially brothers, I love you Tarion and Chris, but your support means the world to us and the extra time we have spent together has been really nice. This is especially true for my family, so I want to give my final thank you to my parents, Terry and Francisco Peguero. They've supported me through everything, even when it meant I was always doing homework, sacrificing valuable family time. Having to stay at home has allowed us to spend time together that we wouldn't have had otherwise, especially with catching up on the new season of The Flash. Any family who puts their favorite show on hold just because you would miss the episodes is a true family. But in all seriousness, thank you mom and dad for everything you have taught me, given me, and done for me. I love you so much and I am happy that I can continue to make you proud. Now I would, I would like to officially welcome you all to Joyful June. Something that has been very important to me is trying to live life with positivity, and one way in which I do this is by giving every month an alliterative adjective. I wanted to share this with all of you because I felt it to be very fitting, not only um, to daily life, but in, especially in the circumstances that we are living through. My favorite poet, Pablo Neruda, said that la risa es el lenguaje del alma, or laughter is the language of the soul. Incorporating positive thoughts, smiles, and laughter into everyday life through these tough times makes our situation more bearable, and I promise you it lifts your spirits and soul. I take this opportunity to remind you to find your hopes and dreams, speak them to existence, live by positive affirmations, as my friend Jackson would say, and truly find something enjoyable about each day. Just like our four years of high school, time flies so fast, and it's important to, to cherish every moment. Finally, I would like to conclude by expressing how proud I am of our seniors this year and how honored I am to be standing here giving this speech to you. Missing out on the long-awaited long senior experiences of prom, graduating in person, and even just physically being in the classroom has been unfortunate and devastating for all of us. But I admire how resilient we have all been and the compassion that we continue to have for one another. I hope you and your families have been in good health and I am grateful that we have survived such unbelievable circumstances. While COVID-19 has distanced us socially and physically, it definitely has brought us closer together emotionally. A special shout out goes to all of my IB peers, teachers, and of course, Mrs. Gardner, who goes above and beyond to hold us all together. The IB program has challenged me to no end, but the best thing about it has been the people and the relationships I form with them. You all have truly become my family these past four years, and even though I didn't think it was possible, our relationships grew stronger despite the odds, and that goes for all of the Granby community. I am so, so lucky to have met all of you and made some lifelong friends throughout this journey. During this last part of senior year, I personally learned the necessity to truly never take anything for granted. Even though I spent my last day of high school crying over tiny plastic babies with one of my closest friends, Jumi, I would love to go back just to be at Granby one last time. And that's the beauty of it, really. I now live each day enjoying every moment because you never know how fast reality can change, so I encourage you to do the same. The class of 2020 is the strongest group of people I have ever seen, and I mean that with as little bias as possible. Whether your future is taking you to college, the military, the workforce, or anything of the sort, I hope that you carry these memories with you. After surviving such an unforgettable year, I know we can all do anything that we set our minds to, and I am thrilled to see the success that awaits you. Thank you for listening and helping um, form who I am today. I couldn't be standing here without you guys, and I love and miss you all dearly. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Shoot for the stars, comments. I want to welcome family, friends, and faculty, and all of my fellow graduates. Well, we made it. After four long years, we have finally reached the next major milestone in life, our high school graduation. 
This ceremony represents not only a major step in our educational journey, but also a transition into adulthood. Receiving our diplomas today is both an act of significant personal commitment and immense pride. All of us have worked early hours and late nights in order to get here, and that work has not gone to waste. A high school diploma, as you know, is a key asset in your future success. Naturally, it will not open many doors on its own, but new opportunities will come as long as we promise to make, wake up every day with the goal of bettering ourselves. Truly, this means that this ceremony is not the end goal, but rather a single checkpoint in the long journey of life. Whatever our future takes us, we will stumble upon many challenges and inev inevitably fail. However, we must take these pitfalls as starting points from which we can climb to even higher achievements. This graduation ceremony should serve as such a launching point from which we enter the next stage of life, whether it be the military, college, vocational school, or a fulfilling career. Of course, these achievements would not be possible without the support systems in our lives. I should first mention the invaluable contributions of our parents. After all, it would be unfair to deny their invaluable care, effort, and time invested into our success. Their daily sacrifices cannot be understated. Meanwhile, the work of our teachers should also be recognized. They have remained dedicated to our achievement in the face of ever-changing demands and resources. In addition to these individuals, I want to stress the importance of our own personal integrity and independence in our journey here today. The last few months have served a testament to this fact. Though social distancing has often left us feeling isolated and unmotivated, we remain concentrated on our studies. Our continuous dedication in spite of unprecedented obstacles validates our presence here today. Obviously, these challenges will not stop here. However, I hope that this graduation will help demonstrate to, that we are all capable of accomplishing our goals as long as we continue to commit ourselves to them. As each of us leaves here today to start down our own unique path, let us take each new problem on with confidence, recognizing that we have already attained great accomplishments and are equipped with the necessary knowledge and worth ethic to tackle our own futures. Congratulations.